Do you want to learn how to connect a custom hosting a domain to your Wurzel app? In this video, I'm going to help solve your problem. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and let's get to it. So this is my Wurzel app over here, and I'm going to click on these three dots and go over to manage domains. Then inside here in the project settings, inside the domains, I'm going to click on add over here on the right hand side. And then inside the add domain in the domain field, I'm going to enter in the website. So over to my Hostinger dashboard, this is the edge panel inside the Hostinger move down. Inside domains, you're going to find the domain that you've got on Hostinger. Let's click on manage. Or you can also click on these domains over here. And you're going to find your domain that you've got on Hostinger over here. And click on manage. Now inside this, we're going to go over to DNS name servers on the left hand side. And you can add a new record by clicking over here in the type and add a new record. The name points to and add record from here. These are all the records that you've got over here. We're going to go back to our Wurzel and we're going to take this domain, copy it, paste it here in the domain field, then click on add domain. Now it's going to give you these three options. So you can add the www version and redirect the domain.com to it or you can add the domain.com and redirect the www version to it, or you can simply add the domain.com. So we're going to use this first one which says recommended. Let's click on add. Now it's going to give you these two options. The first one is uh, the domain.com and the second one is the www version. So we need to first verify this uh, domain. Maybe it's going to ask you to verify your domain, but in our case, it's not asking to verify, but if it did, you just need to add those two txt records inside here in the dns name servers field you just need to click on the type and uh, use the txt the name and the value and add it and once you do it's going to ask you to add the a record and the cname record so inside here for this one this is type a we need to go over here click on type a for the name we're going to use this at the rate and for the value we're going to take this ip address and paste it over here for points to and add record. Let's click on confirm. And it says that the DNS record is created successfully. We're going to also take this one, which is a CNAME record. We're going to take this CNAME in the type, click on CNAME. For the name, we're going to type in www. And for value, we're going to take this and paste it over here and add a record. And it's going to say that it's not valid or conflicts with another resource record. And that's because it has already been added over here. Now let's go back and wait for it. And it says that you need to remove the following conflicting DNS record. So it says this one, we need to remove this. And this is this, we're going to delete this from here. This A record, go back. This one is now set, but it's still checking out the www version. Okay, now it's set and it's generating the SSL certificate that's used for your padlock icon next to your URL just this for security this connection is secure that way this padlock icon and it's going to take some time to propagate but it should be done very quickly in my opinion and once it's done it's going to show like this that it's valid configuration and assigned so let's go over to it and as you can see our web app is now connected to our hosting domain and it's working and that's how to connect your Hostinger custom domain to your Wurzel web app. Did this video help solve your problem? Let me know with a like and comment. Also, there will be other tutorials on Wurzel and other software tutorials that I've made on the right hand side that's going to appear. There, it will be a playlist. You can check it out. See you there.